Good morning, YouTube. Praise Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. We got a little bit of ice going on out here in Tennessee. It's absolutely beautiful. See, there's a little bit here and there. Not much. It ain't too bad. Yesterday, all was white. But just a little bit. It started drying up real quick. Uh, okay. So, wanted to say something about some yoga. Oh, my goodness. Right. So we want to praise Jesus because he's taught us how to pray. Uh, we want to thank Jesus for allowing us to be able to uh, have ears to hear what the Ruach HaKadosh of Yeshua is saying. We really want to just give glory and honor and praise to our Holy Creator for allowing us to, to see what is happening with the deception in the churches. Yoga is no bueno. I'm going to say it again. Yoga is no bueno. Yoga literally is moving your body to prayers, praying to false gods. So you're moving your body in prayers. It doesn't matter if it's it's uh, that you're um, stretching, right? You can do stretches and stuff, but not the stretches that they have you to do in the Eastern religion. Did you know that India right now is really upset because of how the Christians over here in the United States have taken over their holy religious prayers to their false gods and allowing them into the churches of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach's churches. So, why did I bring this up? There are several places in the Bible, in the Word of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, that he explains, he talks about the marking in the forehead and you know, over there in India, the Kundalini spirit, it takes and it attaches itself from the bottom of your spine and it keeps wrapping around. And the more of these prayers and these poses that you do, the more you're allowing this thing to wrap tighter and tighter around your spine until it gets to the top. And then when it gets to the top of the back of your spine, then it goes all the way up to the front right here. Okay, that's why you see a lot of Hindus and Indians um, that have that red dot there because it is a, uh, a symbol for their devotion to their false gods that they pray to. So these false gods that these people pray to, which I'm not down in no Hindus, I'm not down in them at all, okay? I ain't saying that they're uh, evil, I'm just saying that the things that they do is not of Jesus Christ. It's not of Yeshua HaMashiach, it's not of Yahweh Adonai Elohim, okay? So these things that they do, we shouldn't be involved in, you know, God Almighty in the Old Testament several times in the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, he explains over and over how we are not to go and worship and fall to these things, this stuff that these, these other nations do, the heathen, the Gentiles, we are not Gentiles, we are not Gentiles, okay, that's the heathen. So... Yoga being in the Bible, mm, yoga being in the churches, please forgive me. Uh, that's not supposed to be. That's not supposed to be. That's allowing a false spirit to come into the churches. And you know how when you listen to music sometimes, and it's not music of Jesus, but all of a sudden you'll get over your body, you know, you get your hair standing up and stuff, right? I'm not sure exactly what that is yet. You know, because it's happened to me. It happened to me a lot when it, before I, I became a Jesus believer. Now sometimes that music that used to do me that way, make my hair stand up, it literally makes me cringe on the inside and I freak out, you know, and start praying in the name of Jesus. So just saying, um, there's something not right with that. What is that evil spirit that comes upon us? Or what is that that comes upon us that makes us feel good whenever someone sings a beautiful high-pitched tone but they're not singing Jesus they're not singing of Yeshua okay that really means and matters yeah, that that really matters singing uh, of Jesus uh, of Yeshua of the things of our father because it's not of the Gentiles it's not of the heathen we don't even know what we're singing half the time anymore we really don't we don't have a clue what we're singing we just sing words that are on, uh, you know, the 97.1, Caleb, and, and and half those songs. You know, I just seen a thing the other day about Hillsong, where they got these pyramids behind them. And are they Illuminati? Are they working for them? 
I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me that all the Christian uh, bands that are chosen to be on the radio, um, it would surprise me if they didn't work for the Illuminati. I, I, I just, you know, what better way to deceive the Christians that believe in Yeshua HaMashiach? Well, wait a minute, the Messianic community that believes in Yeshua HaMashiach. What better way to deceive them than to put music on that sounds like we're worshiping Jesus? And, well, who knew how to do that the best? And still does, better than humans at least. That would be Lucifer. He knows how to do that. So he knows how to make it feel good and right in our body. We went to this church for like five years. I keep talking about this because it really upset me how things happen with this church, you know. But we went to this church and I, they, this is an older, older couple, a pastor and his wife, and they paid for their daughter to go and have yoga classes and, and to go to college for yoga. And I I sent them a few videos, my weirdo and I sent them some videos talking to them about um, showing them the deception of yoga. And uh, they totally just disregarded what I said. Um, the pastor doesn't even believe that, uh, you know, people that have the Holy Spirit can be attacked by the enemy. Um, and, and his daughter's really sick. She's got a lot of the symptoms. Uh, of, of the kundalini spirit uh, attack, you know, um, possession. So we had to leave this church, you know, these are older folks, um, but it bothers me, you know, you got these Christians, you got, you got these Bible thumping believers that have got their fingers in their ears and they won't listen to anything. God don't change, God don't change, right? That's all I keep hearing from these people. God don't change all these pastors. God don't change. And I'm like, okay, well then why are we changing the word? Why are we taking the Torah out? Why are we removing the old covenant from the Bible if God don't change? It doesn't make sense. So the word of God is very powerful. It's very important. And somehow this Eastern religion these Hind this Hindu religion that worships a book that they stand on and pour milk on. Yeah, I'm still on that thing. If they still worship, if they, if they worship this book and now their false religion, is, their prayers to their false gods is allowed in our churches where we have to use a book to keep ourselves well, a decent human being, our, our life, our salvation, Yeshua, right? Yeshua is the word of God. So now we have in the churches, yoga, prayers to false gods. I don't understand, right? Please, people. If anything, look into the Hindu religion and see the deception. You will automatically just start feeling wrong in your body when you start reading some of this stuff that the Hindus believe. You'll be like, that's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. And guess what? This main religion is connected to the Large Hadron Collider, CERN. CERN, where they're doing these, these all the technology. Uh, I'll be. So somehow this one false religion, this Eastern religion, has ended up <laughs> in the churches, in the Messianic community. I'm just saying, people, check it out. Praise Jesus. Pray to Jesus always with your tongue. It's a powerful weapon. The Holy Spirit of Yeshua will work through you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, have a blessed day, you guys. Y'all. <laughs>